I'm going to talk about ACL, uh, but well, a bit of a, a bit of bit, a little bit about myself. I've been working cake PHP for almost six years now, and I work a lot with ACL. And I know some people were freaking out, like wondering where did it go in the next in the new version. Uh, some guys on the internet said because it was too uh, complicated, the core team uh, like get rid of the ACL component, and I was kind of disappointed because I was trying too hard to uh, find it. It's not so hard. It's not as hard as finding Waldo, which is it's pretty hard for 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 me. Uh, the ACL component is here. Uh, I was talking to a guy core before. Uh, and he said that they isolated the component so that you can, uh, it's not, uh, it plays better isolated uh, and they will add some more features and people can contribute to it and they move, they move it uh, out of the uh, core cake PHP. Just for the record, uh, ACL is different from all. Uh, ACL, like, kind of uh, helps you to uh, give permissions and handle permissions and who can do that and when and all these in charge of knowing who you are. Uh, there are different components to know who you are uh, like O2 and or you can use the old email and password uh, way to log in people and also accuracy and arrows are different uh, it's kind of definition. I have definition somewhere here. Hold on. If this works the way it should. Oh no. Well, it's not here. The ACOs are the things that you want, like an action or a record, and the arrows are the requesters, like. Uh, maybe people, users making requests, or uh, if you have like a uh, line interface, that will work. That will be the uh, error. I also have here. Uh, there are two, and you need to think about it because there are two ways to handle permissions when you are working on an app. The first way and the easiest way will be the role-based access. Uh, this is like a simple map you can you can uh, handle. It's pretty much basic, and there's a, actually an example in the cookbook. And there's one more complex, a complex, a uh, little bit more complex. The all level permission, and this is the one that you want to that you set when people need to play with their own, their own permissions. An example of this could be maybe Facebook. Uh, on Facebook, you can say who can and who cannot see your pictures or your profiles or your post uh, and that would be like row level permissions if it makes myself clear. Uh, the great things about this, no not the great thing, but the big issue about these two permissions or two these two ways of handle permissions is that you need to uh, hopefully your app will continue to grow. Uh, okay. Hopefully your app con will continue to grow. As it continue to, to continues to grow, uh, you need to handle those new, new permissions. Like before, I in my like let's say I have uh, a publishing uh, enterprise or company, and before I just can only publish articles. But today anyone can push or can uh, post on some articles for me to put to publish so I will have to handle the new permission it will be post permission post that article uh, there are two ways to handle those permissions but there are no not two ways but there are different ways this is the one that I use uh, and it's how you can exchange this is old school uh, this is like 101 uh, code you can map, you can back up your permissions, create your new ones, and then merge the ones you have. So that you don't for, uh, forget or you don't override the ones you have, and you will play nice with the new ones. Uh, 
you can do this. You can set these permissions to uh, map file, uh, to XML files, to JSON, to databases. That's what I like to do, or to simple plain files. That's totally up to you. Uh, but you need to keep to be aware how you will update your maps. Uh, and this will be like a little bit confusing. This is an ACL talking. I'm saying don't use it. And the reason why is that sometimes or maybe most times a uh, simple base map or simple role access is good enough. Most of your applications won't need the ACL component so you don't have to overcomplicate yourself. Uh, how to? This is uh, I'm going to use the cake the cake plugin for the new version, and uh, this is kind of a tutorial here. If you wanna look it up, all right. I don't see the screen, so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do. is I'm going to create some ACOs. That's the things that I want to access to. Keep, uh, pay attention, this is my, let me actually clean up the, is that the truncate? Let me know when I, I can see it. Sacos, I can see it. Aros? All right, thank you. So this, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the uh, some Aros. That's the things that I want to uh, access to. These both the arrows and the Aros. You can build them and you can work with them as a tree. Uh, I'm pretty much sure you all understand the the idea. It says users or user users. I'm gonna put this on. All right. So as you can see here, I created this is the my my SQL log, and I'm gonna ask you to pay attention to this blue console here in a few minutes. So I'm, I just created a new echo and I'm going to create some echo related to my users uh, module. That's my index. And that's my view. So now I created some macros. That's the way this new the plugin works with the new version. Uh, it's not missing. If you can, you can actually download that and run the migra migrations plugin, and this should work right away. Next, I'm going to add some arrows. The the arrows are the requesters, and I'm not going to build my whole tree because I only need like main branches uh, you can play with this as and be as specific as you want so as you see here I just uh, created a random user I'm going to create a group let's say that in my app uh, my users belong to a group so I just created the for the group number one and I'm going to relay my users in my tree to my previous group. It's not like I just created two users related to my main group and one user that's not inside a group. And now the I'm, I want to grant some permissions 
to this group that I just created and please pay attention to this. Oh, I, let me show you my... Uh, here, you can see how this is, uh, I can see actually, does the arrows, is that the arrows or the echoes? Okay, uh, this is the things, the things that I'm going, that I'm going to access, and this is my tree that I have, as you can see there, I can, I have my user, my first one, the first record, and then I have two users inside my first group. Now I'm going to grant some permissions to my group and see what happens. Alright, so I granted uh, every, every user in my first group has now access to uh, the whole module users, which is pretty cool. But I don't. I want to deny just one specific uh, feature for that group, for my arrow in this case, and it will be the ability to add new records, right? So I just deny that permission, and I want my specific user number three that uh, I want to deny him permissions to uh, edit users. As you can see, I'm not building the whole tree with all the branches. I'm just leaving the main trunk and then uh, be as specific as I want because I don't want to uh, set every permissions for every user. Uh, the, the tree structure is good enough for me to do that. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check my permissions. As you can see, I didn't, I uh, denied my add permissions to my group number one. Is that clear? And then I'm going to check if I can actually do some of it. I can because my group number one has, uh, that, has that permission. However, remember how I changed my uh, I how I change my specific users now. I'm go, now I'm, let's see them inside this group. Uh, this is not allowed because I never set any permissions to my user number one. The only users inside the only users users with permissions are inside the group number number one. That are the users number two and three. I never set permissions to the user number one, so I didn't have to build the whole tree once again. It, uh, and I now have set permissions, like I can have a default permissions for my users and my default is denied. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna check this user number two is inside my group that has permissions to the, uh, to the module uh, the, uh, users and it has permissions to, uh, to uh, access this echo. Uh, and now Remember how I said in specific permissions for one specific user inside the group? Here it is. It shouldn't have permissions because I said, oh, I can see the command, but let me, let me, when, when you can see deny, start the one, I, I can see. Uh, but I said my permissions in a way that I don't have to build them and this is the good thing about the ACL plugin. You can work with tree structures. And I'm running out of time. So that's my how-to. Uh, I hope you can find it useful. And the bottleneck. The, there are some use issues related to performance and speed. Like if you can, if you have a big enough a big application or you have a big set of permissions or users uh, you need to be able to access quickly those permissions and to be able to read them you know in the most uh, in the fastest uh, possible way uh, so my recommendation for you will be 
and let's go back let's go back to this I'm going to check permissions please pay attention to this uh, blue terminal here oh it didn't work you see how I'm every time I check a permission it goes to the database and create the whole tree and finally it, tell, it tells me oh yeah you have the permission or no you don't have the permission but every time I make a request I build a tree so my recommendation for you will be create a way or catch your permissions in a way that you don't have to build the tree every time and you don't have to access or to hit the database every time you make a request uh, by all means, try to avoid building the permissions map or your tree every time users make requests. And play is nice with your users. And I know we as developers sometimes tend to use to use things like this. Admin under uh, slash I think underscore send underscore email underscore invitation, and that's not very user friendly. Uh, for the users will be easier to read and understand send email invitation versus uh, text or weird uh, string like that uh, but also it's not just about the names and how you show your names the the permissions names to your users it's also how they can handle those permissions and that's where I think you can play and be creative with the how you can build tools that you yourself users can uh, place nice with. Uh, finally, uh, I love New York. This is a great city. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy it while you're here.